Here are some notes on beta thalassemia, especially how it presents at birth and then progresses as the patient ages. Beta thalassemia is an inherited disorder causing reduced or absent beta globin chain production. Remember that the normal adult hemoglobin or hemoglobin A has two alpha and two beta chains. There are subtypes of beta thalassemia. There's the minor subtype in which the patient is heterozygous and has one defective gene. There's also a major subtype in which the patient is homozygous and has two defective genes. The presentation at birth is unchanged for minor and major subtypes. Both of these are asymptomatic. This is with no anemia and no hepatosplenomegaly initially. This is because the fetal hemoglobin, HBF, has gamma chains instead of the beta chains. So it has two alpha and two gamma in hemoglobin F. The symptoms start to develop around six months of age, and this occurs when the gamma globin chain production decreases. So if you want to diagnose somebody at birth, you need hemoglobin electrophoresis to notice a, uh, de a deficit. The later manifestations for minor beta thalassemia are generally mild microcytic anemia. For major beta thalassemia, they are more severe. These patients have severe anemia requiring lifelong transfusions. They can have skeletal deformities from bone marrow expansion, hepatosplenomegaly, and they can also get complications from iron overload from these recurrent transfusions. This can include diabetes, cardiac issues, and infections.